Welcome to 4D Technologies and our AutoCAD 2011 tutorial series. I want to spend a few minutes to give you an overview of this course. I'll highlight some major aspects of the course as well as some of the features of working with this tutorial series. We'll also take a look at the learning objectives as well as the search and navigation capabilities so that you can find the exact content that you're looking for. Finally, I'll introduce you to the instructional team responsible for developing and delivering this course. In this tutorial series, you will learn about the 2D and 3D drawing and editing features and functions of AutoCAD 2011. We've divided the course into 27 logical chapters that you can take in sequence, with a total of 597 lessons. You can also search for individual lessons on specific topics you're interested in. The content is very granular, with lessons approximately four to six minutes in length that can be resequenced and reordered so that you can watch them at any time and in any sequence that you want. We've included concept lessons so that you can understand the topic before we actually present it. And we have demonstration lessons so that you can see how the software is actually being used. And we also include the data sets that the instructors use as part of their demonstrations. So if you have the AutoCAD software, you can actually follow along and try the same examples the instructor has done on your own. After you have completed this entire course, you'll be able to create, edit, and modify all 2D and 3D geometry. And not only be able to create it, but create it and modify it accurately. You'll understand the methods of controlling and displaying the geometry, as well as creating and applying annotation objects, such as text, hatch patterns, and dimensions. You'll be able to add and edit parametric features and functions to new geometry or existing geometry to make your AutoCAD drawings more intelligent. We'll show you how to set up a drawing for printing and plotting so that you can get your data output at the proper scale. We'll show you how to create and manipulate reusable content. We'll show you how to perform some basic interface customization to streamline AutoCAD to conform to the way you would like to use the software. And we'll show you not only how to create printed output, but non-printed output as well. We've added additional searching capabilities with our keyword search. For example, if you type the word cube or box, you'll not only get the lessons on mesh boxes, but solid boxes as well. And for those of you who are coming from previous versions of AutoCAD and you just want to learn about the new features in this release, by searching for 2011 New Feature or New Features, you'll be directed to a list of lessons illustrating just the new functions and features added to AutoCAD 2011. We've taken a team approach in developing the content for this course. My name is David Cohn. I'm pleased to have worked with Matt Murphy in the development of this course. We began our initial research with Autodesk in developing this tutorial back in December 2009. From there, we built this entire series of lessons from the ground up, grouping lessons and topics into chapters that take a logical and effective approach to learning AutoCAD. Between us, we have more than 50 years of training experience. Starting with the earliest release of AutoCAD in 1984, we have provided training consulting, and implementation of Autodesk products to designers and CAD professionals around the world. I personally have written 14 books on AutoCAD and have published more than 300 magazine articles on AutoCAD. Matt and I also present regularly at numerous events throughout the world, including Augie CAD Camps and Autodesk University. For more information, about other training products, please visit us at www.cadlearning.com. I'm excited 
and glad that you've joined us in what I'm sure will be an educational and inspirational experience as you use our self-paced tutorial series.